you know, you run with a powerful discovery channel and travel living. What does it store, I mean, say, how does the discovery channel, you know, uh, tune itself to the new media? I mean, say, how does that make a difference? Have you seen worldwide? Does that make a difference the way the viewing habits for a new media versus a linear television show of a discovery? You see, um, the way we look at new media and the wide to wireless world, what, it's an idea whose time has come because uh, it gives man an opportunity to be godlike, to experience various things sitting in one place and to be felt in various places while not be there. So um, it is something that will grow. But uh, right now, bulk of the television content that is available on new media, whether it is through podcasts, whether it is through uh, on mobile, is really short form. There, and uh, for it to really uh, mature, three, four things need to happen. One for us as content providers uh, and content generators, we are at all times trying to you know, modify our content for new media. But uh, robust business models have not yet developed as to how we uh, really monetize the medium. Until those uh, develop, you will not see the real blue chip programming in avail coming up. Second, if you, a lot was discussed this morning on uh, the kind of devices that are available. While smartphones and tablets are available, you know, it's, it's a very different experience to see a short clip or a breaking news on your phone than seeing a 30-minute or a 60-minute program. So the devices really have to move to the next level where it is in, you know, a, a wireless device can give you a good experience because television is, uh, is preeminent right now and for the foreseeable future because the experience of watching television is very different to the experience that these devices provide. Thirdly, um, as far as viewers or consumers are concerned, consumers across demos have to start adopting these technologies and viewing so that a critical mass arises.